Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Laura and I'm going to teach you how to cook healthy. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all our recipes. And today we're making some authentic Mexican arroz rojo, Mexican red rice, but with no tomato paste and all that funny things that you guys put on. This is the real one and this is as healthy as it can be. This is one of the most traditional recipes in the Mexican food so now we're gonna make it and we're i'm just cutting one tomato in pieces so i can help the blender without any water just to blend everything and get all this sauce together so let's just cut our tomato and put it in the blender as well as some garlic clove i have a big one over here and a piece of onion that's kind of big so i'm just gonna use half of it this is for a one cup of rice that is going to make two cups of rice. So it's a piece like around this size. I'm going to add some salt. That's going to be about half of a teaspoon. There we go. And let's blend it. I just add one quarter of a cup of water to the pot and now I'm putting the rice on it and I'm gonna do it like if you were to fry in the rice but you're gonna do it just in water I believe me you won't notice the difference that this is not the fry it's just made in water and also I'm gonna add one chile serrano and that's gonna be uh, that amazing taste and don't worry it won't be spicy at all you won't feel it it's just like that special taste leave it there until the color of the rice changed. That's when you know that you are ready for the tomato sauce. The rice is ready, the color changed, and now all I wanna do is to add the tomato sauce that we made. And look, this is one cup of the tomato sauce. I'm gonna add it. And the rice is gonna cook in this tomato sauce and it's gonna be the taste of the red rice. I'm gonna add another cup of water, remember, Per one cup of rice, you need two cups of water. That's going to be one cup of the sauce and one cup of water. I'm adding some salt. That's going to be about a teaspoon. Just going to stir a little, little, little. And that's it. I have a high heat. And when this is boiling, I'm going to cover it and I'm going to put it in a low heat and let it stand there for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's really important that you don't move the rice anymore. Just let it, let it be, let it stand and it's going to cook perfectly and puffy. My rice has been here for about 12 minutes and I have some frozen vegetables that we are going to add. I just put it out of the bag from the freezer and it's going to cook inside with the, with the rice and close again. After 20 minutes, my rice is ready and it's smelling wonderful. How are you gonna know that this is ready when all the water consumes? You can just take a little with a, a spoon and look. It <laughs> looks beautiful and delicious. So now let's put it in a plate and you can eat this rice. I'm just gonna mix it a little with the vegetables and you can eat it with everything. You can have it for breakfast with, with some eggs on top or you can have it with any meal. So I'm just putting it here to take into the table and to eat like a family with a red rice. So I hope you enjoyed my recipe. Please watch my other recipe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out mi, mi receta de agua fresca, my watermelon water special for Cinco de Mayo. And I see you soon with more healthy recipes here with Laura. Follow me on Facebook. Bye.